Hello there, guys. Uh, good evening. It's 3 a.m. in the night uh, here in Germany, and I'm still up because um, I was just finishing a fanfiction I am reading. And gosh, I just have to tell you, it was an amazing experience. Holy shit. I'm still a bit. Oh, gosh. The story was called A Heart of Stone, written by. Borgia Brony, and was published in December 2000, 2011, so it's four, no, yeah, over three years old, and was finished into somewhere middle 2012, and so it's a pretty old story, um, yeah, I never read it before, so I... I, I found it some time ago and I just had to read it now, finally. And, oh my god, guys, that was an amazing experience. This fanfiction has about uh, 25,000 words and uh, 13 chapters. And I'm thinking about uh, making a reading of it, because it was that amazing. Um, it was in so emotional story. Uh, based with so many feelings and so many, gosh, I don't know, even know how to explain. It was so insane. I never have thought of the, those possibilities this uh, author made there. Um, it was just amazing. And yeah, I'm thinking of making a reading of it, but there's a lot of dialogue in this story, so... I maybe ha even have to cast some uh, people to uh, voice act for Celestia, Luna and some other characters because obviously I'm going to uh, voice Discord <laughs> um, even if I'm not the best Discord voice but I just want to uh, voice him yeah and the ending is so fucking sad I just cried so much oh my fucking god it was so fucking terrible <laughs> Oh, and I think uh, since so many of you uh, enjoyed my first uh, fanfiction reading, I could start a longer fanfiction like that. First, I thought about many fanfictions um, that were short, about like the one I already read, um, and have less dialogue so I don't have to cast any voice actors or something um, but uh, yeah but this story was so amazing oh my god I don't even know what to say it's a backstory of discord and Celestia and uh, since it was written that long time ago so there was no reformation of discord or anything it was just the time uh, we saw the first episode of discord and there was made a backstory what happened before what made discord bad and or not really what made him bad what what happened back then and then what uh, could have happened after that um in the present time and future um so everything further up there uh the season 2 premiere was just made up in this story and uh the ideas the author came up with are just amazing and I'm still a little flashed by this. It was so, I don't know, it was kind of a horrible fanfiction to read at some points because you're so like, why the heck is this happening? And you're getting like angry with it. But gosh, that holy shit. I don't even know because I personally like it more to read myself because then it gets more then I can feel more with it instead of uh, listening to readings but uh, I know a few friends of mine that only like readings so I guess there are there out there are many people who like that and since uh, the Bride of Discord reading is such a big deal the last time I thought it may be what a good idea to make this story a big deal <coughs> gosh and yeah 
yeah so i probably will do that and i want to ask on your opinion on this and see what you think about it and then i wait uh, wanted to make another info and that is uh, i like to i would like to um what when it goes to the fan fiction readings i would like to take commissions so uh, you guys can suggest some fan fictions that I read that are short about uh, one to maxi to three thousand words and have little dialogue that I will read up uh, but the only the only condition is that it has to be a fan fiction about discord because that's the only fan fictions I read so it w wouldn't make wouldn't make any sense for me to read something that I don't enjoy myself. <coughs> um, that doesn't mean I don't like the ponies in the show, but um, this god is such a big deal of my life since I started watching MLP. Um, and yeah, it's just I just watch it because of this god, or I started watching it because of this god, and this god is just a, a, a fucking major part of my life right now and I investigate uh, I, I invest invest I put so much time and effort into reading fan fictions it's not even normal anymore I, I sit here hours and hours of reading fucking fan fiction I have some, I have read so many fan fictions I can't even count in my FEM account I have over 200 stories in my favorites and have probably read over 400 and only put those in my favorites who I really enjoyed the most and then in my read later are over 700 fanfiction because I don't get the time to read all of them because there are so fucking many because I, I started being a brony in March 2013 so yeah two years after uh, after the season three finale so I just came in with the finale of season three so I knew Twilight will became an Alicon before I knew who even Chrysalis was like if you could ask that yeah <coughs> and yeah because of that I have so much to um, catch up with if it goes to fan fictions <laughs> and yeah um, so as I said I would like to take on uh, requests and uh, yeah I will read them then myself and see if it is possible to make a reading of it and yeah so, and then tell me what you think about the idea with a heart of stone. The fanfiction is linked down in this description, so you can read it yourself if you want to. But if you don't want to, you can wait until my reading uh, starts to come up. I will make one video per chapter, because every chapter is about one to three thousand words. And the first fanfiction I read that choice was it called I think was uh, like one and a half thousand words and I uh, and it took me 13 minutes to read it so that could be several hours to read that fan fiction like right of discord uh, yeah discord come here say hello Hello. Yeah, and tell me your opinions on this, and we see. Uh, I'll see you in the next video, I guess. So, for me, it uh, it's now. Uh, God, for me, it's now time to go to sleep because I'm so fucking tired. But I just had to finish that story, and yeah. See you later, guys. Bye.